What is going on guys? If you haven't already hit that subscribe button and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be installing the best aftermarket shifter on the market for our 99 to 04 Mustangs. So this one has a Tremec 3650 transmission in it. This is my 2004 Mach 1. And uh, let me just show you what I got. So as you can see, I got the MGW short throw shifter for my Tremec 3650 transmission. I also got the race handle for the shortest possible throw. And we're gonna see how this plays out. And it also comes with a silicone gasket, another piece of the handle, and all the nuts and bolts that you'll need. Now, if you've ever driven a 99 to 04 Mustang with the Tremec 3650, you'll know that the throws are very long. Like, look at this. So that's first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and fifth. I mean, in, in fourth gear, if you have any cup right there at all, it'll pretty much hit it. So hopefully this will help clear up a lot of that. And also any like in gear slack, as you can see, you can wiggle it side to side. So hopefully that'll clear that up too. All right, so to start off, we're gonna wanna remove our shifter ball and then basically just pull on this and be very careful and pop this little plastic piece out. I usually just grab it on both sides right here and then just pull forward this way. All right, so once you pull this piece off, we're just left with all of this up underneath it. So I'm gonna start off by removing these two bolts right here. And then after removing this and pulling this top part of the shifter, we're gonna get these four eight millimeter bolts to take off this little dust shield. funny as you can see that this boot right here is actually cracked on the stock one right there so that's not good go ahead and take this off eventually nice now if I'm correct these are 13s and they are awesome so now we're gonna remove these four little 13 millimeter bolts and then finally get our old shifter out and start putting our new one in. After fighting with that for a little while, I think I finally got it. All I did was basically pry using that ledge and I had to pry something up under the side of it. That thing was really on there, like wow. Now I wonder if this is gonna make a mess at all. Surely there's gonna be some transmission fluids. So I'm gonna drop the camera and very carefully get it out of the car. And here is our old shifter. Looks really dirty. Obviously there is a little bit of leak, but that's all right. We're gonna be replacing it with this gorgeous shifter right here, as you can see. That's the two differences. Nice. So let's go ahead and start putting this one back in. Um, first, we're gonna have to clean the mating surface on the top of the transmission and then get ready to apply some of our RTV. I'm not gonna use a silicone gasket. I'm just gonna use some good old RTV, so yeah. Now using something like a razor blade and just very lightly going over the surface, making sure not to scratch it obviously, you can just take off all of the old silicone and eventually it'll be clean. As you can see, I got the mating surface nice and clean. And also do your best not to drop any silicone down in there. I'm gonna have to clean those little bits out. And then we're just gonna wipe around where we're gonna be placing our RTV to make sure that there is no oil, no transmission fluid, or anything that will stop it from sealing the surface the best. All right, so now we're just gonna lay a bead of RTV all the way around here to seal up the transmission to the top of the short throw shifter. Also guys, don't forget to swap over the little plastic piece from your old shifter onto your new shifter. All right, so after you put on this shield with those four little eight millimeters, we're gonna be installing this piece. I went ahead and already put my handle on there pretty much directly straight up and center except for it is just slightly angled towards the driver and then basically this is just going to slip right onto there 
and then we can adjust it any way possible. I'm probably gonna have it just slightly towards the driver as well, just like that. All right, so it's all tightened down. Now we're gonna be putting my shift ball back on there and then let's check it out. Holy. Holy crap, dude. The like going into first is like almost un, you almost can't even tell. It almost feels like third gear in my old shifter. There is, n oh my God, there is no slack inside of a gear. And as you can see, one of the great parts about this shifter is you can still use the factory boot and everything. So put this back on here. Felt like I was spinning forever, but I just wasn't going on there. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. That is in neutral guys. It's still not as far back, even in fourth gear as before. Like that is a little bit better. I wouldn't say a major improvement, but you can probably still put stuff there now. That looks awesome. So there you have it guys. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video.